I just got home and I have not spent time with him, but I need to film this. Hello. So it is Holly. I'm here with my most anticipated releases of 2013. Um, I think I have 10. Um, I did. So, uh, there are books that I know will come out next year or will most likely come out next year that don't have release dates yet. Those I'm not gonna really talk about. So things like the uh, things like the next books in the Leica series by Krista and Becca Ritchie, those I will read most likely. Um, uh, I'll at least buy them. Um, next year I just don't have release dates for those. I think they also have a traditional release that's coming out next year. Um, Serena Bowen will have some books coming out next year that don't have dates officially yet. I will read those. I'm sure Katie Robert has some stuff that's not announced that I'll read. Also, um, there are a couple series like the Sabine Valley series by Katie Robert that's on hold, but if that changes, those would definitely be anticipated. And same with The Last Girl Meets Duke Sear book by uh, Tessa Dare. We got nothing on that baby right now, so, um, but it is perpetually on my list. So... Anyways, I'm going to go through this. These are not in alphabetical order or alphabetical, definitely not, but they're not in, um, like release order because they're not in release order because I didn't put them in their order. So, so the first one is highly suspicious and unfairly, actually these might be, so I'm on my Goodreads. So I think these actually are, no, I don't know what order they're in. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> So first is Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. I believe this is going to be a YA contemporary. And while I am <laughs> not super into YA contemporary right now, or YA generally, uh, even YA fantasy isn't my favorite anymore. Um, I, this First of all, the cover is cute. Apparently, you know, they just make enough illustrated covers and then I, they slowly start to like them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I've enjoyed the other books I've read by Talia Hibbert and I think this is like kind of like an opposites attract kind of romance and that felt up my alley. Um, next is Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. As of right now, I am reading Love on the Brain, like literally right now, that is my audiobook I'm listening to. And then I will be complete on Allie Hazelwood. I do think her books are a little repetitive, but right now I don't care. I could care someday. Next is Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. This one I will probably get, but it's going to be like a library read, I think. Generally, I've enjoyed Tessa Bailey, but I don't really feel the need to have her like on my shelf. So, and this looked like a cute contemporary romance. I had to. Is this book probably like a money grab? Maybe, I don't care. Um, it's a novella. It's Mysteries of Thorn Manor. It is like a follow-up novella to Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. One, I really like Margaret Rogerson's writing um, and I really enjoyed this series. It was my first book by her. Next is The Stolen Heir by Holly Black. This is another one I might get from the library. So this is set in the same world as the Cruel Prince uh, trilogy. Something of Elfheim, I think, is what that series, I don't know. Um, and this is going to be a duology. I generally like Holly Black's writing, and I ended up surprisingly liking that world more than I thought I would. So next is Happy Place by Emily Henry. Have I still only read Beach Read by Emily Henry? Yes, but I still am excited about this book. Also, this cover. I love this pink. It is so bright and dramatic, and I love it. Um, next, oh my gosh, is a middle grade and I'm so excited. It is called A Bit of Earth. It is by a woman named, I, I'm going to mess this up, Karuna Riazi. And this is a middle grade retelling of The Secret Garden, which is my favorite book. And I do plan on doing A Secret Garden, um, Smash or Trash. I was actually going to do it this year and I didn't because I've been a mess and haven't done it. And now I'm so glad I didn't because I only had one book that was like a retelling. And then this one is coming. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be great. I love the title. The minute I saw the title, I was like, that's a secret garden retelling. 
and it is. So the cover is beautiful. Again, beautiful colors. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> that may be the book I'm the most excited for. Um, honestly, even more than Mysteries at Thorn Manor. <laughs> Um, next is Radiant Sin by Katie Robert and then Related Cruel Seduction by Katie Robert. So these are books four and five in the Dark Olympus series. Um, Radiant Sin, let me see. I'm a little confused about who, oh no, wait, I think this one is just Apollo and Cassandra. I think this one is just like a traditional romance. I think it's Cruel Seduction is like something that I do not understand. I tried re yes. So this one is Aphrodite, Hephaestus, Pandora, and Adonis. She described it somewhere, but I can't, if I can find it, I will try to put it up here, like what it was described as. I think Pandora is like only in a relationship with Aphrodite like maybe it's like an open poly something I don't know so I'm not sure I understand what that means but I'm sure I'll figure it out um but I'm excited about both of those yes like everybody else I want Hermes' story and I want oh my gosh do I want Zeus and Hera's story so much and I know I know the payoff will be worth it, but I'm not excited about <laughs> waiting. <laughs> so, uh, but we will get two books next year, one in February, one in September. So that is great. And then the last one is on here and I have to make a decision. So the last one is Lassiter by J.R. Ward. So this is, will be the next book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. So it is book number... I think 22, 21, 21. And the last one I read was book 15 because I honestly stopped caring about a lot of the characters. It got too complicated for me, but I have always loved me some Lassiter and I really want to read his story, but because of how J.R. Ward writes her books, especially as the series has progressed, I really don't think you can necessarily jump into them. I have to make the decision on am I going to jump into this and just hope for the best? Or am I going to go back and read the like five books I didn't read? So if I read them, I think I will probably get them from my library as audiobooks. I'll have to see if that's a possibility. Um, because, sir, this is going to be a mistake. I have so many cardboard boxes from like Christmas and stuff. I need to break down and take out. <laughs> They're just like stacked on each other dangerously. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm really like when I saw this, I was like, oh, I really want a story for Lassiter. And I have to make that decision. I don't know. Anyways, so those are 10 books that I'm anticipating in 2023 like I said I'm sure there will be more and in the new year since I do one of these videos every year or I have for the last few years I'm gonna do a video talking about if I actually read my anticipated releases of 2022 and how I felt about them so uh stay tuned for that in the new year and thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>